health. Because on my other playthrough, I have I'm a wizard, and he has a ton of like health restore stuff. So you don't have to worry about having to pick up any health globes. So. Villager. Alright, I think we're good. That's a lot of flying bats, man. I'll help out my uh, bat, my dogs right here. I can only imagine how good those dogs would be. I mean, cause look, you you unlock runes. Horrify. You unlock runes. I wonder if it turns. I wonder if it turns the dogs into like different, different uh, elemental types. That'd be pretty badass. <clears throat> okay, we're doing, we're doing pretty good on weapons here. Still need a sash. Still need. Oh, well, not a sash. I need. I need. I need some rings. I need a necklace. I need a bracer. Um. Then we're looking. We're looking peachy. Hand axe. I don't need a hand axe. Shoes. Weaker. Okay. Oh, one game. <laughs> one game I have been playing. That is uh, pretty damn awesome. Is ABP Reloaded. I don't know if any of you have tried that game. It's kind of like Saints Row, but an online multiplayer game. It's so fucking fun. I just wish my computer wasn't retarded. Summon your skeletons. Damn, Deckard King can take some take some hits, man. Look at that shit. Yeah, let me turn on subtitles. That's what I forgot to do. Alright, let's go help out Deckard King. They're not even attacking him. What the hell? Oh, I forgot I had potions. That would make sense. I'm here, buddy. So he's gonna just gonna he's just gonna keep spawning. Whoa, that's a big bo oh run! Yeah, see right here? He has a purple name. That means he is a champion. And you wanna run from this guy, because you can run. Ow. Look at that. Look how much damn damage he did. Damn. Let's see, he got a buckler. Regenerate Ooh, regenerate one life per second. Thank you. Love you too. Let's talk to Deckard Kane. Thank you, but why did you risk yourself for me? Because you needed my help. Come, I must return you to Leah. Oh, it is wonderful. This must be the most respectful well. voodoo man I I've ever seen. The worst. <laughs> like most, the <laughs> most witch doctors I know, maps I and I know plenty in real life. No, I'm kidding. They're like, they just want to control you. This witch, witch doctor, so nice. Did we miss anything up here? Let me check. No, nothing here. I think so. I think after this, we have to head back to the uh, head back to New Tristram. I think Cathedral Garden. The fuck? We must discuss the fallen star. Follow me to Tristram. Where the fuck are we? Oops. My bad. I grabbed a window my game was recording on. Let me look around real quick. Nothing here. Nothing here. So, uh, I'm still waiting for my Torchlight 2 beta key. I sent in a, an email. Well, not an email, but... I think to get your Torchlight beta, you have to... You, you just have to make an account on runicgames.com? I, I don't even know. You have to make a runic account. <laughs> And, um, yeah, I'm still waiting for my beta key. Still waiting. If you guys are watching. 
Yeah, Torchlight 2 is exactly. Ooh. I have kept my word to Leah and rescued her uncle Kane. I pulled him from the clutches of the Skeleton King, who still holds the Fallen Star. So yeah, Torchlight 2, Torchlight 2 and 1 are exactly like Diablo, except the story is different. Wait. Wait, what? The fuck you say? <laughs> My banner. Uncle, you're alive! Thanks to you and your friend here. I seek your wisdom. Tell me of the fallen star. The prophecy of the end days surely points to it as a sign that the end has begun. Please, Uncle, not more of your stories. All that matters now is that you're back. Checkpoint. The Skeleton King was once our beloved lord, Leoric. He was driven mad by Diablo's evil. Evil. Both of his sons and his very soul before he was finally defeated. Now it seems he's risen to plague this land once again. The Oryx should be in the unformed land, yet he stands between me and the fallen star. The key to defeating him lies in his old crown. Seek out our blacksmith, Hadrig. He knows of its whereabouts. All right. Leah, <coughs> you should not dismiss the sign so lightly. Do you not believe the evidence of your own? All right, so we have to seek out the blacksmith, and I think he's in town. So, um, all right, so let's, I think, can we do, can we craft? Oh, we can, what? Um, all right, so let me explain, explain crafting real quick. Now, when you, I should, I should do it right now. So right here, when you do crafting, what you have to do is you have to salvage your, uh, <coughs> like to craft anything. You see right here, you need, uh, subtle essence. And this is this this lets you craft uh, magical, magical weapons, armor, etc. Uh, I think I think it carries over because my artisan experience is pretty high compared to. He's only level one. That's weird. I guess it doesn't carry over. But um, yeah, my other playthrough, I have him trained up to like at least I think like ten thousand. It takes ten thousand gold to train him next level. And uh, the way you get any, the way you get the essence. Like this is you have to break down or salvage any magical items. So you can't, you can't. I don't think you can. Yeah, you can't. You can't salvage any like normal weapons. But you see right here, uh, if I salvage this, I get. I think it's random, but sometimes you get a uh, subtle essence. Sometimes you get like a rare tooth. Let's see if I get a rare tooth. No. No. Okay. So you uh you want to save most of your magical stuff. If you are wearing them, and like say you f say you're wearing say you have uh, like like this, so like for example, I have gathering gloves. If I find a better a, a better magical glove, save this one so you can salvage it later to craft. And uh, anything that's normal like this, you want to sell. So I'm sell that 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 sell everything. And I think I have some uh, essence in my stash from my other playthroughs. See, does he have anything good? Dagger. I might buy that. How much money is it? Thirteen ninety-one. I have three thousand. Uh, I might get that. I might get that. Armor. Let's see. Gathering gloves. Gathering shoes increases gold. Better magical. Regenerates two life per second. I think I'll stick with what I got. I've dug up some new things so I, let's see if I have anything in my stash. I think I do. Yeah, I do. Ooh, I want to use this. Regenerates one life per second, plus four percent. No, I will use it. I will use this. Fuck that. Goodbye, boots. I will sell this though. This is from my other playthrough, and I'll I'll, I'll use it. Whatever. Uh, so this is uh the fallen tooth obtained by using the blacksmith to salvage rare weapons. 
you don't have to salvage any rare weapon to get this. I think it's random. Like, I, I got some just from salvaging magical weapons. So, if you have any magical stuff, you are going to want to save that. Now, I have how much money do I got? I got 3,000. Okay. I'm going to go check the... Can I? Yeah, I can. Uh, I am going to go check the merchant over here to see yes, if he has any yes, brains. Not this guy. Very special to me, but I suppose I can sell you one or two things if I must. Spent all night uh, this guy over here is he sells rings, etc. Maybe necklaces. I haven't got that far. Hey, look, I'm happy to yeah, he sells rings. Trinkets. This is locked into level six. Oh, I can't even buy it. God damn. Ah. Vampiric. Vampiric. Oh, I don't even need that. Okay, gloves, attack speed, chilling gloves. Now yeah, let's go buy that dagger <clears throat> before I do anything, and I'll I can salvage this. Yep, I'll I will salvage that. So I kind of cheated <laughs> getting the rare boots, but why not? I mean, pretty damn weak. I'm getting really terrible drops so far. But oh well. A right good bunch of things for uh, you let's buy this. this. And equip that. It's strong. Yeah, it is stronger. Sweet. It attacks faster. Uh, it has a, a lightning damage. Okay. And monster kill grants two experience. That's always nice. So let's salvage. Uh, this. Yeah, I got a fallen tooth. Cool. I think to make rare, you have to train your. You have to train the uh, artisan a bit higher. Uh, let's see, what do I need? I need a bracer. Can I make a bracer? Is this a bracer? It is not. Can make this though. No, I cannot. I need five. Um, let's see if I can. Let's see if I make if I make something. I don't think I can make anything rare yet, so I'll save my tooth. So let's click on that. So I need a ring. I don't think I can make rings yet. It has to be level 9, level 9, level 9, level 10. I can make chest armor, and I think I might. Cuffs. Cannot make it. Boots, I can. But I think I'd rather have my rare boots. I don't. I can't even make a freaking... I can't make a dagger? What the fuck? Uh, let's see. Let's, let's, let's make a... Let's make chest armor. So it takes 5 out of 14, so I'm going to have 9 left. And uh, it says right here, 2 random magical properties. Sometimes can, this can screw you over. Sometimes it gets re it gets really good. I think one time I did, yeah, I did the gloves. I got like plus 2 strength and plus 2 dexterity when I was a wizard. So let's craft and see what we get. Made to order. Cute. Yeah, see? Plus 1 strength. God damn. Strength, strength is uh, basically an attribute for barbarians, but it does increase your armor, so. And it does give me more armor, so why not? Put that on, and then I will sell that. And I'll put the rest of my uh, crafting materials in the stash. Alright, so let's put this, put my uh, essence in the stash. And uh, we'll be on our way. Let's go talk to the... The blacksmith. So yeah, I got a... Doing looking pretty good now. I would have a good dagger, have rare boots. I, all I need is rings. I need a wrist. A shoulder and a necklace and a head... A headpiece. And I'll be... I'll be... Looking pretty good. Blacksmith. Deckard Cain said... Deckard! Help me find the crown of Leoric. Not now. It's my wife. She's locked in the cellar like all those who've been bitten. I'm to put them all down. But how can I kill my own wife? It must be done, Blacksmith. I will help you. Thank you. Follow me. I don't think I could ever kill anybody I... Anyone, anyone in my family. I don't think I could do that shit, man. That's depressing as fuck. But you gotta do what you gotta do, right? You gotta do it. I killed Diablo. I'm sorry. They us. Put them out of their misery. I think his wife is somewhere here. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's his wife right there. What is he? What is he attacking with? Like a axe? Mira, my love, forgive me. Yeah, she's gonna turn into a wretched, wretched mother. I think. Ew, that's fucking gross. She's getting fucked up. There we go. I couldn't have done this without you. I'm in your debt. My name is Hedrig Eamon. I need your assistance, Hedrig. I search for the crown of York. I can help you there. It's buried with his chancellor, my grandfather. You'll find his tomb in a cemetery in the Weeping Hollow. And if you see my fool apprentice out there, tell him to get back to town. All right, so we have to go to the northwest northwest gate and go to the crypt to get the get the crown. Uh, inventory. What did I pick up? Ooh, plus four intelligence and plus ten life from health. That's pretty cool. Uh, intelligence increases your power, your weapon, or is it power? I think it's weapon. Increases all. Oh, increases all damage. That's pretty damn cool. <clears throat> so let's see how much it gets. Twenty six. Nice. I thought I only increased magic. Let's see. These are these gloves are better. So I will equip them. And I can sell off everything and salvage this. Okay. So now let's go back to the to the merchant. And we could go do some stuff. Now the next mission is pretty damn it could be it might be long. From what I remember playing co-op it was pretty long cuz there's like three different you know dungeons but uh, I don't think you can access the blacksmith until you actually save his wife or kill his wife so let's see salvage this got essence and then let's go sell some stuff I worked my hands to the bone to bring you these fine goods. Okay, 